Welcome to this Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia, Spain. This is the day after, after the rain. This is the northwestern corner, the border of the farm, the lowest spot. And for the first time we have water coming this way flowing water, running water and uh, it seems like we have done something right because the water now comes down from the top to the bottom something that in the past just disappeared in the creek water runoff Excellent. So this is the lowest swale, tiny swale. It's full. This swale has no connection to any other swale. It's just rainwater. And then we have flowing water this is obviously full flowing water this is obviously full and flowing water goes in there this well is full flowing water and the water comes down this area from the Swales higher up. Let's have a look. This is the highest swell system in the west, and uh, this is the lower part of the pond, the pond wall. And then the water comes from here and this is just where I come from now and uh, when the water comes in here it's quite murky but at the bottom it was almost clear So uh, a tremendous amount of water spread out over the farm. Maybe I can claim that as the biggest achievement, that the water is so spread out. I haven't seen it like that before, but now it's clear. It's still unclear to me what happens to the water, the rain that falls on the plain, on the flat part of the farm, the top part of the farm. Um, there is not any runoff. So uh, Hopefully it gets absorbed Somebody said this is my beach volleyball area 
<laughs> the sand is coming. <laughs> and one can see my tremendous effort in getting it level. It's actually a nice way to see the state of it. Beach volleyball site. We have no water from the municipality, from the network. We have no electricity from the network. It's not available. So uh, the water, the electricity comes from our own land, our own solar panels. Another reason to be occupied with water. The rain made way to just a light drizzle and wind and it's a good time to walk through everything again. Everything I've seen is working well and that makes me very happy. The dog food sandbags got pushed. It's important information for me and uh, I did put it in a straight line, the bags, to see if they can be some kind of crossing by foot for me. But uh, obviously it didn't work like that. I'll have to retrieve them and then have a half moon shape instead of this 90 degree angle and stack them differently um, the bottom layer of three is still standing so I am eager to see what soil came down what sediment settled A few delightful surprises here on the eastern part. Uh, the first one is I now realize how much water is trapped in these swales because the canal has been running for almost 12 hours and only then everything got filled up which is absolutely amazing the other one is this huge swale finally filled up and uh, this side is lower than that side which is a bummer but uh, it is not an issue because I can interfere there and bring the swale around. This happened because I hit stones and rocks and I thought let me just complete it. But uh, I can terminate it somehow earlier and bend it up that way. All the swales are full and flowing and the water is clear which excites me. It's the first time I see it so clear. Great. This middle swale on the east is still running. Uh, 
I don't think there's any more water coming in except from the rain higher up and this is the highest swell system we have on the land this is a canal beautiful I thought I have to widen and deepen this but it worked like a charm and I don't think there's any need for that it's the right amount of water I am happy to say that the spread of the water the distribution of the water worked very well there was no flooding in any specific area and uh, I'm sure that when there's more water coming in it might be a different story but first time I see the water being distributed the water from the culvert the eastern culvert being distributed in three directions and each of them very civilized and well behaved and polite and just doing its thing I like it a magnificent sight I am proud of it it worked very well um, the bottom swale system I hardly opened because a lot of this water will now uh, seep into that system and the slower it goes the better for me the middle swale system I opened a little bit more but it's a fraction it's just amazing how much more water does come through and then the top system is open all the time and uh, no erosion so far great we are thankful some more rain on its way tomorrow later today and tomorrow and the next few days I didn't tweak that much as in the past just because there was not that much flow excellent here yeah, the color of the water is the street color and uh, this water goes subterraneously to the bottom there and that is what I wanted a lot of branches being filled with uh, topsoil the creek the gully filled with branches and then soil on top of it it does surface now and then and then I'm happy to say that it does surface here from all its underground flow and then it flows this way and it flows all seven of those wells we are ecstatically happy content it's just amazing when there's no rain I think wow we have so many swales they will never fill up and the moment it's rain I think wow I can have double the amount of swells 
human beings are beautiful crazy animals till next time goodbye